Well, business is booming at Charleston International Airport after officials reported tens of thousands of Independence Day travelers this year. A lot of people traveling. News 2's Jordan Sayopa joins us live from the airport. Jordan, this year's total is a 4th of July 1st at Charleston International. Brendan, Carolyn, that's right. If you traveled through the Charleston International Airport in the last few days, officials say you are a part of a record-breaking July 4th holiday travel period. Uh, this year's number of passengers up 12% compared to last year. Passenger numbers skyrocketing at the Charleston International Airport this 4th of July. So many people in here, I've never seen this many people. CHS officials say nearly 117,000 travelers passed through TSA checkpoints at the airport from June 27th through July 7th. That's a 12% increase from the same time last year. It's really getting busy at the airports these days and, and over the holiday, we, we decided to wait till today. Low Country natives Ann and Paul Grizzle say they opted for a post-holiday trip to avoid the crowds. Things are so different since the pandemic. So before I'd allow 45 minutes, now it's two hours, three hours I allow in between my stops. The spike in Independence Day air travel in 2024 mirrors a national trend. According to CHS officials, the Transportation Security Administration screened over 3 million people at U.S. airports Sunday, which is the most people ever in a single day. It just proves to us that, you know, we are on the right track, that travel is back. July 7th also proved to be the busiest day of the bunch here at home with 13,366 passengers at Charleston International. How are you guys handling the boom in passengers? We're looking ahead. You know, we're in the design phase of a new 5,400 space parking garage to uh, meet the demands. And that's not all. CHS Deputy Executive Director Spencer Pryor says they're looking at up to $1 billion worth of improvements at the airport over the next five to seven years. That includes new gates and a concourse C. Changes passengers say they're anxiously awaiting. We definitely could use quite a few more gates here. Uh, would be nice to have. Now, airport officials say lower airfares and an increase in nonstop destinations are part of the reason for this year's record-breaking numbers. Now, last year's July 4th travel period took place from June 29th until July 9th, and there were over 104,000 passengers. Reporting live in North Charleston, I'm Jordan Siopa. Count on two.